the forum shops at Caesars Palace Las Vegas. It's an escalator that curves up to that second level. You don't see that every day, do you? Pretty cool. It's 6.30 in the morning, Christmas Eve. I'm up early. I don't know how I'm up early when I went to bed at 12.30. Because it's Vegas, that's why. I've always been a sucker for all things Christmas. Christmas songs, Christmas decoration, Christmas trees, all of that. But I really, really love poinsettias. I always have. Nice job, Caesars. Looks great. Dollar fifty a press on the Heidi Beer House team. Started with a hundred dollars, got down to seventy six sixty, and I caught the bonus. Thirty nine dollars and counting so far. More beer. More beer. Yes. Good so far. 20 spins. I've only done three of them. Keep going, Heidi. Uh, more beer, more beer. There we go. More of that, Heidi. Everyone has so much fun. You're right where you belong. Roll out the bed. Ah, very nice. I'll let you know what I get at the end. I'll bet you know what I'm looking at. Yep. That is the glass artwork ceiling in the lobby of the Bellagio Hotel and Casino. Gorgeous. There's nothing quite like Dale Chihuly glass, in my opinion. Got the lobby area over there, or registration, I should say, with the nice big red flowers. That's beautiful. And we're headed back that way to the conservatory. We gotta give this a look. Be right back with you. Here we go, the Christmas themed, the Christmas themed, that's not easy to say, the Christmas themed <laughs> conservatory here in Bellagio. This is the first time I have ever seen the conservatory. And all the videos you see on other people's vlogs do not do it justice. You really have to see it for yourself. It is gorgeous. The amount of work they put into this is just amazing. And they change it seasonally. So four or even five times a year. Very nice. Poinsettias. I do love those. Back there stringing up the lights. Very cool. And we've got one on the ladder up there. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Oh wow, even the tails move. On these grand horses. This is amazing. Sorry for the shaky footage, but uh, I'm very new to this vlogging thing, so I'll get better as I go along, I promise. <laughs> At least I hope. Maybe I'll ask Santa for some good video recording equipment. There are decorations all over this place. And I don't mean just a conservatory, but every hotel in Vegas is just decorated up for Christmas and I love it. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Looks like they've got this section closed off. They're doing a little work. 
Wow, the horses even neigh. I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah, it just really is something to see. If you haven't been to Vegas and you plan on coming, you have to make this a stop. You've got to see the conservatory, no matter what season of the year it is. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Bears made out of flowers. Love it. And of course, a grand Christmas tree. Yep, I am very much impressed. All right, we got more gambling to do, so let's go do it. Forgot to show you at the base of the big Christmas tree, they've even got a train. <clears throat> Excuse me, they've even got a train going around. Coca Cola train. In a field of poinsettias. I love it. Nice touch. All right, one more shot, one more overview, if you will, of Bellagio's Conservatory. It really is beautiful. I cannot stress it enough. Don't fall. Don't fall. All right, Christmas will be over by the time you guys see this, but I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year as well. I'll be right back with you. The revolving front doors of Bellagio. Oh, I want to dress like an elf, just like Will Ferrell, and go screaming and running around in circles. <laughs> but I'll pass. All right, I'm standing at the Bellagio front entrance. Uh, you got Planet Hollywood right there, and this really tall building. That is the Cosmopolitan. I'm not sure how tall it is, but it's at least 50 stories. I think the next time I'm in Vegas, I'm going to stay there. And the next time should be in May of 2020. That's my plan. Twice a year from now on. God, yeah, I can't wait to stay in that place. It looks really good. All right, onward we go. Still got more gambling to do. 8.30 in the morning here on Christmas Eve. Got the Paris Hotel there. Got Bally's, got the High Roller, the Flamingo, TI, Treasure Island way back there, even the Trump Tower, Caesars Palace. Now one way back there that they're working on, Resorts World. Can't wait to see that one come online. It looks exactly like the win in the Encore, but uh, so what? More the merrier if you ask me. All right, the trip continues. I'll be right back with you. Inside the Cosmopolitan, this is the Chandelier Bar. I know I've said it before, but uh, real life is the only way to see this. You can see it on a vlog. It's just not the same. You gotta see it in real life, it's amazing. Chandelier Bar. Awesome. All right, I want to see if I can find a Harley Davidson machine. They're kind of tough to find on this trip. Maybe I'll get lucky at the Cosmo. From the planet. Here we go. What are we gonna get? <laughs> Come on, blast. Come on, blast. Oh, man, land a big one. 
Yeah, 59.80, I'll take it. Thank you, Cap. Big win. That puts me at 154. I like it. Let's keep going, shall we? All right, here we go again. We are multiplying. Okay, I don't know what that is, but let's find out. We're multiplying! All right, here we go.
Yes, and bet that'll work. Still not, still not a big fan of that, uh, that bonus, so I think the other ones are better. We are playing on casino money, however, so let's keep going. I'll be back with you if I get another bonus. So according to a couple of vlogs that I have watched, Hog and Two Cent especially, the Earl of Sandwich is the place to go. So let's find out. Okay, so I've eaten half of the sandwich. That's an Earl Club on white bread. And I gotta say, Hog and Two Cent, you were right. It is really damn good. 10 o'clock in the morning, I wasn't even in the mood for a sandwich, honestly but I'm glad I ate it. Um, I know I'm a rookie vlogger here and don't have many followers or subscribers, but uh, Hog and Two Cent. If you like travel vlogs, especially Vegas, go check them out, Hog and Two Cent. They're a great couple and you'll be entertained by watching their vlogs. All right, now I gotta devour the second half here. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning at uh, Planet Hollywood Casino. Got a bunch of people lining up. But what are they lining up for? That's what they're lining up for. Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. I haven't tried it, but there's a lot of good reviews about this place. And if they got a line at 11 o'clock in the morning, I gotta think that's pretty good. Next time I come, maybe I'll try out Gordon Ramsay. All right, here we are on the 17th floor of the plaza. Just coming off the elevator and uh, taking a look down the halls here. I'm in room 1710, which is down this way. It's one of the Lux rooms. It's been remodeled in the last uh, year or two, and it looks pretty good, I must say. I like the color scheme here, and I'm liking the carpet. It smells nice. It's not old or musty. This place was built in 1970 or 71, something like that, so looks pretty good for how old it is. Here I am, 1710. And in we go. I've been living in this room a couple days already, so don't mind the stuff laying around. Got your two queen beds there. I always prefer to live out of my suitcase. I don't put the clothes in drawers or hang them in the closet or anything like that. I'm just kind of weird that way, but... It's uh, 4.30 in the evening on Christmas Eve, so it's starting to get dark outside. That's why I got all the lights on. Got a nice big mirror there. You got your TV and your drawers. It's all pretty standard stuff with any hotel you go into. They do give you a... Uh, it's going to be kind of dark, but they do give you a mini fridge that's empty, which means you can put your own stuff in there. That's a nice little touch to have, I think. Much better than the mini bar where they charge you an arm and a leg for just a Coca-Cola or something. But Yeah, I do like this room. Like I said, the color scheme's nice. Big empty wall there. I thought they might have put a picture or something, but they don't have one. Maybe the previous tenant stole it. <laughs> oh, before I show you the view, I'll show you the bathroom. Like I said, pretty standard stuff. Single sink. Shelves down there, towels safe on the wall. Toilet in the shower. The shower, I'm not a big fan of, honestly. I mean, it happens a lot. The shower curtain kind of billows in as you're taking a shower and clings to you as you're trying to wash yourself. Don't really like that, but... Eh, what are you going to do? A small price to pay. And then you got the view. Like I said, I'm on the 17th floor, looking down at the Fremont Street Experience, and a nice view 
of the brand new hotel being built called Circa. It's supposed to be done in 2020. Can't wait to see that. That'll be awesome. And there's my favorite sign. The Golden Gate. Oldest casino in Las Vegas. So, a little history. I have been to Vegas before. Um, it was 1988 or 87, something like that. I remember the Mirage was just being built at the time. And I stayed in the Stardust on this trip. And I never even left the Stardust. I was there for two days. Just gambled there, drank there, hung out there. Never walked the strip or anything like that. So all of Vegas is pretty much new to me. I am I consider myself a rookie. But I'm loving it so far. I did spend a little time down on the strip today. But uh, And I'm going again tomorrow for Christmas. I'm going to hang out down there and see what's going on. But I do prefer downtown, I think. Old school vibe. And the slots are looser, that's for sure. I have just been hemorrhaging money today when I was down on the strip. And I'm going to come back down here and maybe win a little bit tonight. We'll see. Anyway, that's my room. 17th floor of the plaza. And I like it. I like it a lot. All right. I'm going to go out and uh, get the night started. And like I said, it's starting to get dark. Time to do some drinking. Time to do some gambling. I'll catch up with you. I just spent $11 on a white Russian. You want to know why? Because it's Vegas, that's why. What the hell? It's Christmas Eve. Got ACDC playing. Gotta love this place. All right, a little bit more history for you. Gonna head out and do some gambling tonight. I've always been a gambler. I used to hang out in Reno. I'd go to Reno about once a year. Um, and I'd play table games. I love blackjack. Never played slots ever. I just thought you were throwing your money away playing slots. A year ago, though, um, the casinos in Washington State, Native American casinos, uh, they got a machine called Triple Fortune Dragon Deluxe. Or Unleashed, sorry. Triple Fortune Dragon Unleashed. Hit the scene about a year ago and everybody went crazy for him. Everybody wanted to play. Everybody was having fun. And I said, all right, I'll give it a shot. And a year ago, I threw some money in, started playing, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. And I've had some good bonuses on it. One of them I'll show you right now. Triple Fortune Dragon Unleashed. It's probably the most popular slot game in Washington State. I gotta say, I love it too. 45 free spins. I've already done 30 of them. I have 10 more to go. Started with 100 bucks. I'm up to 280 and counting. Going 25 a spin. I'm doing really well here. I love it. I only wish they had this game in Las Vegas. Yep, I do like that game. It's a lot of fun. And recently I started playing the Harley Davidson motorcycle uh, slot game. We've got some of those in our casinos. And I've only been playing that game for about three or four months, but I've had some big bonuses on that one. And I'll show you those right now. So I'm pay playing Harley Davidson slot machine. I got the wheel bonus. See that jackpot up there? $6,000. I just hit it. Unbelievable, and I'm still going. Party ain't over oh, yet. One more spin. This is unreal. Four dollars and eighty cents press. I started with two hundred dollars. Unbelievable. Grand total. Thanks for playing the wheel bonus. Six thousand one hundred twenty-six dollars. Bonus. Can you believe that? Like I said, I started with 200. 480 a press. Oh man, I love this machine. Harley Davidson is where it's at, baby. 
So you flash forward to this year. Um, I'm in Vegas. Last year for Christmas, I went to Reno and had a horrible time. Couldn't win a dime. Um, don't like the way the casinos are being run down there. It's, it's not the same place anymore. So I decided from now on I'm going to come to Vegas. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I did. This place is just crazy. So with that said, I don't play a lot of slot games. I have tried a few out uh, this trip. As you've seen, I basically just play Harley Davidson and Triple Fortune Dragon Unleashed. I'm gonna go try, there's Harley Davidson here. Plaza has a couple and I know Four Queens has a bunch of them. So I'm gonna go try to find one that has some good bonus games on it and sit down and just uh, drink and gamble. I mean, it's Christmas Eve. What else, what else is there to do, right? <laughs> I'll catch up with you in a bit. All right, so I'm inside the Four Queens and I found a Harley Davidson machine. It's got 74 spins in the Mega Bonus, so I'm gonna see if I can get it. Got $128 in. I put $28 in, thinking, you know, it's only 20 cents a bet. So, you know, that's nothing, right? 74 spins, I could probably uh, play here a while and see if I can hit it. Then I realized it's a five cent machine. So it's actually a dollar a spin. So I stuck in another hundred, got 128. And let's see if we can get that mega. If I hit it, I'll show you. Wish me luck. Well, it's not the mega, but I got the mini 14 spins. So let's see what this does. Down to $82.25. Not expecting too much from the mini, but maybe I'll get one decent hit. That would be nice. Come on, Harley. Show me the money. Show me the money. <laughs> How's that for a 90s reference, huh? Gray bags, got the kings, and it's a little bit of money there. I'm not very good at converting the win into what the actual money is. I'm normally pretty good at math, but I've had a little bit of drink, and yeah, forget it. Math goes out the window. <laughs> I'll just trust that it knows what it's doing. Nice full screen of yellow bikes and wild cards would be nice. All right, last spin. Right, line up some red bikes a little bit. Nah, they don't go all the way across. Oh well. Free games are always a good time. How much money is that? Sixteen dollars, something like that. Puts me at ninety-eight twenty-five. All right, let's get that mega. Started. Uh, two or three, maybe three spins later, I get the wheel bonus. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. That $10,000 looks nice. Let's see what we can get. Spin that sucker. Come on, baby. No jackpot this time. I think that's uh, $2.50. Take a shield. Ah, uh, this is what always gets me. Hey, look at that! I did it. Give me the Come on, let's hit a bigger mouth this time. Come on, baby. Stop, stop, stop. Ah. I think that's fourteen dollars. The left or right one? Uh, yeah. other side. 
Oh, hey, I was right. This is Third and final spin. Here we go. Come on, jackpot. Come on, jackpot. You know you want to do it. Stop, stop, stop. Ah. That's all right. A win is a win, right? Keep rolling. We'll see you back here in the wheel bonus next time. Next time. Where does that put me? Look at that. 127.50. I started with 128, so I'm back to even. All right, Mega. I'm coming for you, baby. So, update on the Harley Davidson game. I ran out of $28. Gone. 77 on the Mega, 21 on the Maxi, 22 on the Mini. Back home in Washington State, the Mega tops out at 60, the Maxi tops out at 40, and the Mini tops out at 30. So I like that they keep climbing here, but oh, it's aggravating. It is gambling. These casinos are not built on winners, that's for sure. They're built on people losing. So I'm going to stick another 100 in, and I'm going to get that Mega. I gave myself $600 a night. Well, $600 a day for food, gambling, shopping, whatever I want to do. And I'm well within that still, but uh, I don't want to throw $600 away trying to chase a mega that'll probably pay about 200. But what the hell, hundred more dollars? Let's see what happens. All right, spun a few times, got it up to 104 and I hit the mini. 22 spins. Let's see what happens. That's a good start. That's uh, what, 12, 13 bucks to start right there? Yeah, keep going with the wilds. I like that. I've already told myself that I am determined to get that Mega, so I'm just going to sit here and feed the machine if I have to. That's actually the way I prefer to play slots. I really don't like hopping from machine to machine to machine. I like to kind of camp out and settle in. Sometimes I realize you can't do that. The machine just beats you up and you, uh, you got to move on. But normally hardly gives you good play for your money. Granted, that first 128 went pretty quick, but uh, so far the second 100 is doing all right. 10 of 22. There we go, get some wild card action going. To be fair, this game's really not the most exciting game. Um, kind of boring compared to a lot of others. That uh, Attack of the Planet Moolah game, Invaders of Planet Moolah, that's a lot of fun to play. Silly, it's ridiculous, and it's just entertaining as hell. This game, not so much, but I like that it's sort of a regular payer. This game is you can put some money in and play for quite a while. And as I've shown you before, you can hit something pretty big 16 of 22. Oh, wild card, but nothing lines up. These bonuses always seem to fizzle out a little bit at the end. That's an okay hit right there. We're at about $26. Oh, the gray bikes. I didn't even see that. Oh, more of that. Final spin coming up. There we go. Thanks for playing. That's about thirty-five, thirty-six dollars there. That's not bad. Should put me at about one forty-one. Oh, my math is off. One thirty-nine seventy-five. So that's the mini. Resets back to seven. Maxi's at twenty-one. Mega's at seventy-seven.
I'm gonna get you, Mega. I promise. All right, let's continue playing. Here are the wheel bars. Press the button, spin the wheel. All right, a couple spins later and I get the wheel bonus. Let's see what happens. Come on, big number, big number. That's not a big number. Last time I think I hit the right, let's try the left. Oh, you rat bastard. <laughs> I always have the hardest time with that. Hope you had a great time playing the wheel bars. Oh well, we'll keep spinning. All right, I got the wheel bonus again. I'm sitting at seventy-nine dollars. Press spin, and we can hit the highway. All right, I'll press spin. Patient. Let's see what we can get here. Yeah, of course. Smallest one on the wheel. Make a happens. selection. There's more to be had. All right. Let's keep spinning. We'll go again. Stop. Yeah, All right. Do I do the same Select one or the right other one? one. You Let's do the same one. No and more gas in the one. tank. May the highway never end, my friend. There will be other wheel bonuses if you keep riding. All right, quest continues. One thing I noticed about this game, too, if you look down there, I don't know if you can see it. Probably won't focus in on it. It says, playing 15 lines. The one cent version, it plays 25 lines. That's not cool. If I'd have known that, I probably wouldn't have played this. There are some hits that should have happened that aren't happening because of that. So, I still want to get that Mega. It's at 80, but uh, yeah, if I hit that Mega, I'm going to walk and I'm not coming back. I'm going to stick to the one cent version. All right, onward we go. All right, it's not the bonus I was looking for, but I'll take it. It's the mini 23 spins. I am sitting at 120, 85. Let's go. Yeah, I need a lot of that. Remember, I'm into this game for $228. I just want that Mega. Give me that Mega so I can walk away. Come on, baby. Lots of wild cars. Lots of yellow bikes. I want to see nothing but orange wild cards. And yellow bikes. Yeah, it's too bad this game is only paying on 15 lines instead of 25. I've missed out on a lot of payments. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Their town, their rules. But at least I'm getting happily drunk on some white Russians. I started out with that big $11 white, white, white Russian. See, I can't even talk. Now I'm drinking these, and I've had about six of those, seven of those maybe, and I'm still going. I'm on a quest. I want that mega. I'm gonna keep drinking until I get it. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Spin 20 of 23. I got three more to go. 
I don't know what the bonus is. Uh, what, 60? Almost 20 bucks. Probably about 20 bucks when it's all said and done. Final spin. Did you bounce the needle off the rev limiter? Twenty-one dollars, if my math is correct. Play the RPM pregame. Should put me at one forty-one, and it does. All right, here we go. The game continues. Well, it only took about two hours, but I finally got the mega. Sitting at 107.85. I've got 89 spins. Let's see where I end up. I'm not going to film the whole thing. I'll show you the, uh, the end result. And the last time I said that, I didn't show you the end result. Earlier today, I ended up with like 115 on that bonus, if I, re if I remember correctly. This one, I'll make sure to show you. Sitting at 107 right now. Let's see where I end up. All right, we're finally coming to the end. Two more spins left. I'm looking at, what, 220, 225? Going at something like that. I can't do math. Stop back again. We'll fix you up with some more excitement. Remember, I started with 228. That ought to get your motor running. 343, I'll take that all day long. And I've had, I don't know, about a jillion white Russians. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love Vegas. So what does this guy do? Nothing except stand absolutely still. It's awesome. This dude looks just like a statue. And he rakes in the money too, man. That bucket is filling up. All for just standing there. Well, I put $100 into The Walking Dead. Got down to $47.62. I got the bonus. Let's see what we can get, huh? 12 free games, all right. We'll see what happens. The screen is huge, but I'll try to get it in as much as I can. I've tried this game a few times on this uh, vacation and I've had no luck. So, let's see what happens this time. I need a nice big hit is what I need. Sitting at the Golden Gate, I'm right by the front door. All the festivities going on outside, you can probably hear it. Yeah, go up, baby, go up. I got a little bit there.
satisfatório. Just not for me. 